Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I am going to discuss the topic what is Docker and what all the terms are there in the Docker will discuss everything. Why we are using Docker. So we will discuss each aspect of the Docker. So let me go to the next slide. So first of all what is Docker. So Docker is a set of platform as a service product. So what do you mean by the platform as a service? So platform as a service is a form of cloud computing where an application software platform is provided by third party. So it is a platform that is provided by the third party on which the developer and the programmer can run their application or create their application how they are doing locally. How they are doing on the real machine. So that is what the docker is. It is providing the platform as a service. So Docker uses the operating system level visualization to deliver software in the packages called containers. What is container? So container is nothing but it's a running instance of the Docker image. I will tell you what is Docker image, how we can create it. So containers are isolated from one another and bundles their own software libraries in the configuration files. So each containers are independent and they are bundled with their libraries and their requirements. They can communicate with each other through the well-defined channels. There are couple of network through which uh, the Docker containers can communicate. There is a link through which the Docker containers can communicate. Okay, all the containers are run by a single operating system kernel and therefore uses fewer resources than the virtual machine. So earlier in the virtual machine, we were having multiple machines, multiple operating systems on the single machine. But this is not the case of the Docker. In the Docker, we have only one operating system. On top of that, we have multiple containers. So it is uh, light in the size and the virtual machines were heavy in the size. So let me go to the next slide and then explain you what is Docker architecture. So coming to the Docker architecture, we have these three parts. One is the client, one is the host and another is the registry. So uh, coming to the client, client is nothing but it's a command line interface through which we can run some commands and communicate with the Docker host, which is Docker daemon. What is Docker daemon? So Docker daemon is nothing but it's a server where we can create our images and containers and we can uh, run those containers there. What is Docker Hub? Docker Hub is nothing but it's a repository where we can push our Docker images. Okay, now coming to the next slide, why we are using Docker? So <coughs> a dependency version mismatch from one environment to another. So let's say when we are not using Docker and how generally we do the development. So let's say we have a few development environments, dev, QA and production. So there can be a dependency mismatch between the QA and the dev so that uh, both codes won't run. So why Docker? So there are a couple of uh, problems that we were facing in the earlier development methodology that we were following when we were not using the Docker. So let's say we have multiple development environments like QA and uh, production and dev environments. So let's say we have three different environments and we are using uh, let's say Spring Boot version 3.1 in the dev environment but we are using 2.7 in the QA environment and using 2.5 in the production environment. So whatever code we are running on the development will not uh, whenever we are going to push that to the QA will not run because there is a dependency mismatch. Okay, so that is why uh, the Docker is solving that problem. I will tell you how. Okay, let's say soft, software upgrade. Okay, so let's say we are using Java 17 on the dev and in the production we have Java 8. So we need to, the code that is running in the dev will not run on the production because there is a 
a software is not upgraded in the production. Similarly, library corrupted, let's say the jar, whenever we are going to deploy the development jar to the production and the jar is corrupted, then that will not, not run. So everything is solved by the Docker. How? We will tell you in the next slide. So let me go next. Okay. So first of all, just uh, let me tell you what is the difference between the Docker containers and the virtual machine. So Docker containers contains binaries, libraries, and configuration files along with the application itself. But this is not the case of virtual machine. Okay, so in the virtual machine, uh, we have multiple virtual machines to run on the single machines along with their own operating system. But in this is not the case of the Docker. Docker has only one operating system. Okay. Now coming to the Docker, they don't contain a guest operating system for each container and rely on the underlying OS kernel, which, which makes the container lightweight. So because there is only one operating system, so the container is very lightweight. Containers are very lightweight and there is only one operating system. But this is not the case of virtual machine. Each virtual machine had, has its own copy of the operating system along with the application and the necessary binaries, which make it significantly larger and requires more resources. Okay. Now containers share their resource with other containers in the same host operating system and provide operating system level process isolation. So because we have only one operating system and so many containers are running on the same operating system. They can communicate with each other. So it is a operating system label process isolation, but this is not the case of the virtual machine. In the virtual machine, they provide hardware level process isolation and it is slow to reboot. So coming to the conclusion, I just want to draw a conclusion that the Docker containers are lightweight because there is only having one operating system, but this is not the case of the virtual machine. We have multiple operating systems, so they are not lightweight. They are heavy in the size and they require more resources as well. So coming to the next slide, let me show you the picture where we can differentiate what is the virtual machine look like and what is container looking like. So in the virtual machine, you can see we have hyper version and different, different operating system are there for the running different different applications but this is not the case of the container we have one operating system where we can run multiple containers and each containers can have uh, different apps now let me go to the next slide so some important terminologies in docker so first of all what is docker image so docker image is an executable package of software that includes everything needed to run an application so it is an executable package of software that includes everything needed to run an application. Let's say I have created one Spring Boot application and it requires one web dependency. I'm using database as MySQL, so it requires MySQL driver. So the Docker image is making a executable package of everything, application as well as its dependencies so that we can run that image in the virtual environments okay so that is what docker image now coming to the docker container it is an runtime instance of the image allows developer to package application with all parts needed such as libraries and other dependency so it is uh, nothing but it's a running instance of an docker image so with the help of docker file we create the image and then we run that image to the container. So what is Docker file? The Docker file is nothing but it's a file and where we can write some commands to create the Docker image. Let me go next. This is the Docker container. You can see uh, in one container we are using the Tomcat, Java and the Debian. And in the second container we are using PHP, MySQL and Ubuntu. And the third container we are using is static binary and Alpine. So these are the different uh, libraries that requires to run that image. So it's combined in the same image and we are running that in the container. So coming to the next, what is Docker file? It is a text document that contains necessary commands 
which on execution helps assemble or helps to create a docker image so it's set of command i will show you what is that docker image is created using docker file now coming to the docker engine the software that hosts the container is named docker engine okay so in the architecture i show you what is uh, host what is docker daemon so docker engine is composed of these three uh, things it's a client server based application okay so docker engine has three main components server rest apis and the client so let me go to the first slide and then show you so here you can see there is a host and there is a client and using the rest apis we are communicating with the uh, host through the client so client is a command line interface where we can run some commands and a, using the apis we can communicate with the uh, docker daemon or docker host so this is the docker engine it's composed of the client apis and the host now coming to the next thing this is how it's look like okay now what is docker hub docker hub is an official online repository where you can find other docker images like let's say if you want to include the mysql in your container so there is a mysql image that is already provided by the docker hub so from there you can use so docker hub is nothing but it's a repository how we are using the github in the github we are pushing our codes and in the docker hub we are pushing our images so that is uh, where we can push our images and we can collect our images there in the docker hub from the docker hub we can uh, wherever we are require our images we can uh, deploy on that site let's say we want our docker images in the jenkins then from the docker hub we can uh, take out the images and go uh, let uh, bring it to the jenkins and then create a pipeline similarly if you want to deploy this docker image on the aws then from the docker hub you can uh, take out that image and then deploy on the aws similarly for the other clouds as well so docker hub makes it easy to find manage and share containers images with the others this is how let's say this is docker hub we have our images in the docker hub uh, if you want to go to the jenkins you can go uh, you can bring your contain uh, you can bring your images there you can bring your images to the GitLab. You can bring your images to the OpenStack. Similarly, on the Amazon. So wherever you required your images, you can bring from the Docker Hub. So this is about the introduction video of the Docker. Now, in the next video, I will tell you how you can install the Docker desktop. Or if you don't have, uh, if you are using Windows, you can also use a Docker toolbox to install the Docker. So just. Uh, this is about the whole docker introduction okay and if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks